with a lineup of Damon Albarn, Alex James, Graham Coxon, and Dave Roundtree. Brit Popper's Blur first saw the light of day under the name Seymour in 1989. The name change came with the release of their first album Leisure in 1991. But their real breakthrough came in 1994 with the Beatles and Kinks influenced Park Life, which brought them their first top five hit, Girls and Boys. The album was pronounced bigger, bolder and narkier than their previous album and helped them to four awards at the Brits. Their rise and rise had coincided with that of Northern Beatles sound alike's Oasis, and the music press fueled the very public rivalry between the two bands, which became known as the Battle of Britpop. Playing along, both bands decided to release singles on the same day, and Blur's Country House ended up outselling the Oasis song Roll With It by 60,000 copies in the first week, earning Blur their first number one single. However, despite the success of their 1995 album, The Great Escape, they couldn't compete with the sales of their rivals' release. What's the Story, Morning Glory ended up going four times platinum in the US and spelled the end of Blur's popularity with the media. After 1999 and the release of 13, they took a break to pursue other projects. Frontman Damon Albarn ploughed his energy into virtual band The Gorillas with cartoonist Jamie Hewlett, while Graham and Alex worked on solo projects. They got back together in 2003 without Graham to record the atmospheric think tank, which earned them another number one. Finally, in 2009, Graham was coaxed back into the fold. The carrot was the prospect of a reunion concert in London's Hyde Park. And I looked at a couple of performances, and um, there, there are several things that I've, I missed about a Blur Live experience and being uh, the guitar player. And it's just these certain points in songs where there are visual, visual things between Damon and I, Alex and I, um, Dave and I, especially actually, which are sort of things to do with coming in together and things. They're, they're just very boring probably to everybody else, but they, they were always things that, that I would love about the shows. Drummer Dave Roundtree couldn't wait to get back out on stage with his old mates. What we had before was a real energy about our live performances, and that's what we've got. You know, that's what comes of playing together for 15 years. But for bass player Alex James, it was about the music. That I'm left with that kind of I feel is the most sort of valuable thing from all those years is the songs. You know, they're, they're, so it'd be nice to play them again, all of them. But Damon was giving nothing away about the potential playlist. We've got an idea of a few songs we're going to play, but I think uh, it's just important to really um, give the, a clear picture next summer about, about kind of what we were about and what got us excited and uh, try and play to our strengths really uh, and uh, you know spread a little happiness really.